Good morning YouTube land, how are you all doing? I'm Ben Pearson, former Channel 5 Police Interceptor and we are back for a brand new video. Today we are making a video about TPAC. TPAC is Tactical Pursuit and Containment and it's what you do when shitbags are making off in vehicles and we are authorised to box them in and ram them. So stick with us for the next video and we'll explain how, why and well everything else we do in regards to TPAC, criminals and shitbags on the road. Roll the titles. So what is TPAC? Again, TPAC is Tactical Pursuit and Containment. It's about using skills from an advanced traffic officer on the roads, and it's about blocking or boxing in shipbag drivers in stolen cars or vehicles we want to stop. These are done by specialist road traffic vehicles on the road and box the vehicle in either from the offside, the near side, the back side, the front side, the offside wrap, the chicken wrap, any other wraps you can think of. It's what we do to bring vehicles to a stop in a safe and controlled manner. The vehicles that are used are either firearms vehicles or traffic vehicles. Oh, fuck. Fuck. The vehicle that I use in the TPAC are either traffic vehicles or firearms vehicles. They can be marked or they can be unmarked. Uh, depends on how many vehicles you've got at that situation and where your backup or your mates are technically coming from at the time. The only vehicles that can be used are them. We cannot use beat cars or beat vans, so to speak. So they need to be authorised tactical pursuit vehicles to be able to TPAC. We can tee pack at any speed, as long as we deem it safe to do so, up to 100 miles an hour if not more. It just depends on what crimes are being committed, how bad the shitbag burglar or criminal wants to get away, and what our thoughts are depending on where he's going and the route he's travelling on, i.e. if he's going into a town centre or if he's going to go the, like, the wrong way down the motorway, which is something we just do not put up with. We will put you to bed for that. Contacts. We're going to go for To get trained for TPAC, you need to go on your advanced driving course, be part of traffic or firearms, and you need to do specialist driver training, which is about boxing the vehicles in, and it's about... I fucking said that, Anna. How we get trained is officers need to be in traffic or firearms. They need to go on what's called initial face pursuit training, which is about uh, pursuing a vehicle originally when it makes off and to get your commentary right, uh, to get other people in the air. <laughs> Shit. To get trained as a TPAC trained driver, you need to be in traffic or firearms. You need to go on initial face pursuit training, which is about doing the radio commentary if a vehicle fails to stop and getting the planning action. If you pass that course at speed, um, showing you are safe and competent to do so, you will then move on to TPAC, uh, boxing in and preemptive stops and vehicle wrapping. Once this is done and you are authorised to do so, you can take part in any TPAC anywhere in the UK. All you have to do is patch through onto the area or division's radio channel, let them know you're there and your call sign and you can take part in bringing the vehicle to a stop. How dangerous can this be? It can be horrendously dangerous. When we practice, we do it on an open road in live traffic to create the best um, scenario we can get. When we are doing it, we are doing it for real at high speeds um, with criminals either in stolen cars or making off from serious offences such as armed robberies, burglaries and anything like that. Anything involving firearms, we can be involved in stopping that vehicle. All pursuits are dangerous and it comes at a high, high risk. We know what we are doing when we do it and we all work as a fantastic team together and that's why when we do it, we bring it to a stop as quickly and as safely as possible to prevent any harm from any officers, members of the public, or the criminal themselves. TPACs can take place basically anywhere. It can take place on a motorway, a dual carriageway, or single carriageway roads. We formulate a plan so the criminal or the person driving said vehicle doesn't get too far. We can put a vehicle in front and bring it to a slow stop, put a vehicle in front and behind, box it in that way, or we can put a wrap on where you've got vehicles at the front and either side of the vehicle and bring it to a slow stop that way. Once you are in the box, it is extremely hard to get out of the box and we will bring you to a stop by all means necessary, such as if we have to force you into the central reservation or against the brick wall, we will do because we don't want you to go any further. I'm sorry I've struggled because I had a bit of spit in my mouth.
In regards to TPAC, that doesn't just mean using our vehicle, it means using other things that are available to us at the time. One of those things is MPAS, which is the National National Police Air Service. It's the helicopters and planes that we do use. You can tell I'm not right bright and I've been out of the police a long time because my brain's not working. Personally, I think you're a fucking idiot. One of the other things we do use are stingers, stop strips, and anything else with spikes on. If you want to get a piece of string and attach some nails on it, we will probably use that as well. These are thrown out in front of the making off criminals' vehicles. Making off criminals' vehicles? Is that the right thing to say? God, I'm struggling this morning. Huh? Okay, now. This, uh, this uh, video is sponsored by Breaking Beans, um, which is something to do with beard meets food and Josh Goodson. Cheers. Oh, that's tasty. Oh, I think milk might be off. Ugh. Ugh. One of the other things we do use are stop strips or stingers. Uh, if you want to get a piece of string out and attach some nails to it, we will use that as well. These devices are thrown out in front of the vehicle that is moving off and it brings it to a stop when the tyres are punctured. A lot of people think that if they have got run flats on, these won't work. They still do work because all run flats are, are solid walls on the side of your tyre. Therefore, what's in between and the air still does come out and makes your vehicle extremely hard to drive and it will lose speed. So don't be fooled thinking none of these will work when you are on run flat tyres. It's a myth. Yes, we can sting motorcycles. We also can sting trucks, heavy good vehicles. We will sting a tank, a balloon. We will sting anything you want to put in front of us because that's what we're like. We are like big kids with big toys. When you're involved in a tea pack, there's a man called the ground commander. That is the lead pursuit officer, such as if I'm chasing a vehicle, it is me. I am the one that's got to coordinate all the other traffic officers, firearms officers towards the area, get them in specific places so we can box the vehicle in and get a stinger deployed out in front of the vehicle where it's making off. I've got to use all my skills at the time to be able to think where this vehicle is going to be going, what the intentions of the driver have and trying to get it stopped ASAP. Once we are on the back of you, that is it, pursuit is done, you might as well stop, pull over and say thank you for the effort officer, please lock me up and take me to prison. The officers that do chase you are second to none. It is like being trained on your driving test, but driving like that for eight hours a day, seven days a week and 365 days a year. But not only at driving test speed, it's like doing it at 150 miles an hour. The amount of training skill that these officers do have, it's impeccable and it is second to none. Traffic officers, firearms cops and advanced trained pursuit officers are the best in the UK and probably the best you will ever see and meet. So if they do get behind you, please don't try and make off because you do not have the skills uh, and you are not that talented believe me we've seen it we've been there and we've done it and all we'll do is watch you wrap yourself around the lamppost go backwards through walls or flip it up upside or, ah, or flip it upside down into a ditch do not make off just to make you aware, any officer that's trained in the UK does not have a border or boundary line. It is not like the UK. You cannot go from West Yorkshire to Lancashire and expect us to stop at the border. It does not work like that. We are police officers all around the UK. So if you make off and go from West Yorkshire to Lancashire, we will still follow you and work alongside Lancashire. If you then go into Humberside, we will then follow you into Humberside and work alongside Humberside. Just because you make off and go through county lines, it does not mean we won't follow you. We will be on your all day long until the pursuit is ended. I've said this loads of times in regards to pursuits, if it gets too dangerous, we will then use tactical contact. We have spoke about this many times before and tactical contact is about a trained officer bringing the pursuit to a stop by ramming said shitbag vehicle. We can use it as soon you've seen in the States where we can do a pit manoeuvre, we can ram it sideways, we can just box it in any way or shape or form we want to do, we can push it off the road and we will do anything to be able to bring this pursuit to a stop in a controlled manner. The last thing we want is you thinking you're an expert driver, having committed a crime and making off to a residential area and putting lives at risk. If you're going to do that, we will then ram you. Um, our insurance will be paid for by you and then our vehicles are repaired and you go to prison. Do not think that we won't do it. We do motorcycles, we do cars and we will just do anything at the time to be able to stop you from making off and causing a danger to members of the public. So always remember tactical contact is an option for us and it will be used. Thank you. Keep a lookout in your mirror because we might be there. Bit creepy with that, wasn't it? <laughs> 
that's it from me this time thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon send it to whoever you want and don't forget to check me out on my own personal website and look at the merchandise we've got to offer like this uh, including caps beanies water bottles pens badges tops hoodies underpants floats coffee cups mugs fucking hell it's killing me is this job see you next time people